Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in today for an Eden run and we've got something pretty interesting to start. I actually didn't roll mul uh, like multiple Eden stats, I just got this one and this is an item that's really interesting. So we've got Perkiger, whatever, but it's our active item that's really special. Let's take a look. It's the um, Diogen's Pot. Toggle a melee hammer strike on and off when equipped receive 1.5 damage multiplier. Getting hit while equipped teleports you to the starting room. It's getting over it with Bennett Foddy. We get this little pot and a hammer, so we're going to be using this basically throughout the entire run because it's melee and it's interesting and it's 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 just wacky. It's cool. I like the way the pot has like wheels, which is kind of funny. Um, good stuff. Ooh, I can I can get that. Nice. I'll pop some pills. Why not? Can I get these ones? Yep. There you go. Lovely stuff. Okay. Uh, glitter bombs, I do not mind. I do not mind some glitter bombs. Uh, and we'll keep on. But yeah, this is a weird start. But remember, every time we get hit while in this mode, we will get teleported back to the starting room. Because this is getting over at Bennett 40. You, if you if you fail, you get teleported to the start. That's 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 the deal. That's how this works. Very interesting. Uh, not what I was expecting to see today. There you go. There you go. It was bound to happen. Ooh, lovely stuff was bound to happen eventually. I can actually get all of these coins. I don't know why I didn't get those earlier. Yeah, the fact that the melee swing also lets us grab stuff over pits is very, very nice. And the damage output on it is is pretty, pretty tasty. This looks secret roomy to me. Yeah, there you go. Glitter bombs giving us a penny there. Ooh, hello. I'm going to do this after the boss so that I don't uh, spawn the sin. Um... Not the sin, the um, horseman. Oh, god damn it. It's gonna it's gonna happen a lot, boys. It's gonna happen a lot. Uh, we gotta get ready for that. We're, we're settled in. Now, where does secret room look like it's gonna be? Other secret room, I mean. Uh, we could grab the... Um... Oh, dude, I got hit by the same enemy. Are you kidding? I could grab the, 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 the black candle thingy in here. The black lantern. Um, plus one black art guarantees a curse and every floor replaces curse with special kind of curse with potential benefits. That sounds interesting. I'm going to go for that. Why not? We got a black art of it as well. Um, and we have curse of the sun. Right. Don't die to the same goddamn enemy this time. Like, wait for him to shoot. Take petrified poop because why not? Can these guys bugger off? Okay. Luckily, they are actually doing as instructed and buggering off. Good. Yeah. Lots of hits there that I shouldn't have taken. My, my character is looking um, rather spooky wooky right now. Ooh, we got you. This is kind of tricky. Ferryman or Soul Hearts. I think I'm going to go Ferryman just for the extra chance at consumables, which I'm not exa exactly light on right now, but we could always have more. Now, the question is, if I'm in the pot and get hit, where does it teleport me to? Because if it's the starting room, this will end everything. So I've got to be kind of cautious about this. Let's get our normal tiers out for now and swap to it based on the room. This is a horrible, horrible room, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. I see you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to just play around this as much as I can. Okay, I did deactivate that at the end. Nice. Okay, I think we're going to have to stay in normal mode here because these rooms are going to be a little tricky. Ooh, HP there's very, very nice. Uh, you little... Ah, oh, man. That was all... Oh, that was evil. We also got a massive stats down for getting hit there, weirdly. Um, yeah, that was horrible. At this point, I don't care. Get the pot out. Yeah, don't care. Don't care. That That is the little bloody ghost in the middle of that room. That was a horrible room. Absolutely horrible room. Anyways, we uh, we trek onwards. That was not, not ideal at all, but we trek onwards. I, just, I can't believe I'm getting hit so much <laughs> in this pot form. I didn't think I'd be getting hit quite as much as I am, but I am. Cracker Jacks is fine. The Trinket. 
Tier multiply if you don't have any red heart containers or burn hearts. Well, that's the opposite of what I want right now, unfortunately. Um, and I guess we'll go alt path. Why not? Why not give it a go? So it does tell us what our curses are going to be, but I don't actually know what many of these curses do. So that's going to be a bit of a surprise for us, I guess. Back in our pot. That's pretty good. I'll take that. It's actually really good because um, that's going to give us a damage multiplier whenever there's a curse and like a bunch of other stats. And we've got a thing here that guarantees a curse. So that's going to be really, really good for us. Cool. I like that. I always crap myself whenever I get new one of them. I will, I will take a spicy key right now. Thank you. I'm not going to play you anymore. That, 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 those chests. Oh, 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 man. Being melee just makes it so easy to get hit. Ooh, that was very nice. A few extra soul hearts there. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I do not like having Curse of the Lost alongside our other Curse. I, I don't know if that's that's worked the right way there. Uh, we've seen our item room. We're, we're good to just go here, I think. That didn't do any damage? Are you kidding? How? I, I genuinely don't know how that didn't do any damage. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. A little bit sketchy. I will take this and hope that it's good. It seemed to be. Ooh, I think the pact I'll definitely take. Firecracker flower, a little less inclined. Right, keep going, keep going. We've got some good stuff going on here. The Wicked Soul's working really, really well for us. This pot thing is, is just bizarre, but I love it. The fact that we've got a massive range boost there is very, very nice. Ooh, hello. I don't know what's going on here. What, what's what's with these tears? Okay, this must be the curse. It still says Curse of the Lost. Why am I getting multiple curses? I thought this replaced the original curses, but that's, that was a lie. So I'm guessing these shots here can probably hurt me as well. So I've got to be aware of that. Okay, we've got enough money for our shop now as well. And we did get Chasm, which is good, but unfortunately, we're not taking it. But that is pretty nice. We got a pretty hefty damage increase. So our damage is looking real spicy right about now. And our, plus our range and stuff. This is all sorts of goodness. What's the shop going to reward us with this time around? I guess I'll take that if I find my secret room. I've got enough bombs to, to, to find it. So let's go and have a little look-see here. Um... But yeah, I, I like I like that the fact that this um this like getting over it item is like a reference from the uh it, it's it's like a reference item, but it's like also a reference to something else. It's kind of for, it's from Four Souls, right? I really like the uh, the idea of having like references to stuff. What, what's what, like that can be the sort of question today. What's like your f favorite reference? Item in Isaac. It can be modded or vanilla. It'd just be interesting to know what your favorite reference to something else in item form is. Ooh, this could be good. I did not realize that was a secret room item, I'll be honest. I did not realize that was a secret room item, but I quite like that. I am happy to uh, take it on. I'll buy a soul heart as well. Why the hell not? Yeah, our, our range is really helping us out here. Good, good. And I think we're straight into our boss room here. Wow. <laughs> Especially with these flies, we are dealing some absolutely absurd damage right now. I like it. Uh, Mum's Pearls is more range, so I will take it. Thank you. Um, and then we've got, ooh, Sinner's Sight. Okay. Tears up, gain homing tears. Tears have a chance to fear enemies. Fear enemies take extra damage from all sources. Yes, please. And Pinhead... I don't know if that's going to do anything for us, so I'm not going to take it. As much as I actually quite like Pinhead, I'm not going to take it because I don't think it does anything for us. Um, and honestly, I could be tempted to turn this into a mother run. Got an eternal heart out of that. Right, let's quickly go back and uh, go over this way. 
Where's our, uh, where's our little white fire? Where art thou, white fire? I require your assistance in turning myself in. This is some damage, baby. This is some damage. What the? What, what hit me then? Was that creep that hit me? I think it was. There's our white fire. Right, let's go through here first. Okay, it's that. I thought that was this room. In we go. I can't remember where the item room is. I think I vaguely remember. Petrified poop helping us out there. Lovely. Uh, I... What the fuck? I am... I fire the wrong way. Look, look, look. I'm, I'm shooting left. Uh, 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 excuse me? Why is that dude dealing damage to me? And where's my holy mantle gone? I am very, very concerned right now. Because I don't know what dealt damage to me, and that 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 scares me an inordinate amount. Dude, why does that dude keep damage to my holy mantle? That's not fair. Get out of here, you goofball. I don't like the way you behave. That is not intended behavior whatsoever, my guy. Anyways, we're out of here. That was sketchy. That was very, very, very sketchy. I will be taking my leave, thank you. Right. There's the extra penny I was looking for. What have we got in our item, in our shop that we might want to buy? We already bought one item, but there must be another, right? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Buy two, get one free. Okay. We are good to go. That was quite something. That was quite something. That is not, not how I intended that to go. And I felt my life flash before my very eyes there. Hey, we got the grotto again as well. Nice. We're not going to see much of it, mind you, because we are very, very strong. But still. I just like the fact that we have, like, absolutely absurd range with this as well. We've got the mod that makes it so swings are actually affected properly by range. Oh, amazing item there as well. All um, all hearts become blended hearts. Therefore, we shall be getting a lot of soul hearts. Any full red heart becomes a blended heart, not half hearts. Don't really know what happened there. Golden penny. Uh, we got some books here. Now, remember that books disappear once you take them, so it doesn't- we're not gonna get bu guaranteed bookworm here. That's not how that works anymore. Which is good. That's, that's how libraries should work. It shouldn't be a guaranteed bookworm every single time you find a library. That's silly. Anyone that disagrees, it's just salty. Again, don't really feel like I was hit there, but I'll take your word for it, game. I really like the, uh, the little mushroom fly guys. It's a really cool adaptation of that type of enemy. The mushroom spurts are interesting. Hey, look at all the blended hearts. It's an absolutely absurd item. It's just like I, almost a guaranteed win. Oh, you... That's going to get real annoying. <laughs> I'm sure. It's the fact as well that it restarts the progress in the room too. On top of everything else. Got a shop here. We got enough money for the shop as well. Been getting doing really well on money so far. Um, I, I didn't actually mean to take that, but there you go. It's one full heart container every 30 minutes. Pretty useless. I do think it gives you one on pickup though, so that's that's good at least. Right. You are deaded. Fraudulent fungus is very, very nice. And we keep it going. That's more range, baby. Our range just keeps on growing. One second. Right, let's keep this going. Let's keep this pot swinging craziness 
on the roll here. I see you there. I never really remember how these guys work. I give them a soul heart, don't I? <gasps> what? Yes, I would like another one of those, please. Tears up if you're about to take fatal damage, turn to China. Okay. I like tears up. This guy's taking half soul hearts, but I'll be honest, he's giving me some good stuff. Trap all enemies in the vine. Ooh, that could be really good. Like, find a room with a lot of enemies, and that could be that could be quite intriguing. That could be quite intriguing. I'm still going to stick with this pot. I think if I get hit, this pot cracks or something, doesn't it? Or is it if I put it down, it cracks? Either way, it's a pretty big tears up for now. Which I think... I don't know. Does that actually matter when I've got the swingy swingy? I don't remember. Um, secret room is unfortunately not there. We don't know what either item is here. Guess we'll take this one. Reverse of the tower. Okay. Getting hit creates a bunch of rocks. This is going to be a weird whenever I get hit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to create some strangeness. It's going to create some strangeness. Boom, 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 boom. Take care of that fella. I don't exactly need all this money anymore, but why not take it anyways? We've still not found a good room for our, uh, our spirit of druidity. Oh. What the hell? That, that dropped one of the Spirit of Druidity hearts while I'm holding it. Is that like an effect of it? Or is that like some weird synergy, accidental modded synergy with my uh, item that makes all hearts blended? I will crack this. Thank you. Lost soul. Ooh, I don't know if I can protect you for long, but I will try my best. This time around you are safe, my little fella. My, my, my cherub. Created some rocks there. Um, yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Down we go. Lost soul, I protected you. I mean, luckily you were given to me at the most opportune possible time. And you give me it hurts. I'm going to re-roll this for a, for a broken heart. Shake some of Isaac's head when shooting. On the third shake, she's had two, three stats. He has a cost splash damage. Yeah, seems interesting. As long as it works with this. Hold up. Okay, it just seems to not work when there's no enemies in the room, I guess. I don't I honestly I don't really know what's going on with it. I'll just leave it to its to its own devices. Uh I'll, I'll wait for more keys before I open that up. A pooter has appeared. Why are we still getting pooters this late on? This run has been wacky, man. <laughs> I love this item. It's, it's, it's crazy. Oh, what? Oh, wait, what? That became free for some reason then. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to accept the freebie. Um, This one's reflected, so I'm going to take that because there's two of them. Fruity plum. Hell yes, double fruity plum, baby. That's what we like to see. And we got you doing your thing. Wow, a teleport to the secret room. How useful could that be? Thank you. Mapping. Well, not useful because I've got curses. I've got a lot of curses going on right now. Oh, he cleansed my curses. Do you know what that'll do? That'll do. You've, you've, you've done you've done a lot for me. Right, kill, kill, kill the brain. Lost soul. How dare you die on me? How dare you? Ooh, unfortunately not very good with this setup, but I'm not going to not take it. Hey, we got this room. This room's pretty good. Uh, not that I need it right now. Okay, I'm going to quickly go and um, and check out my double L room. Do you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to save my spirit of druidity for later. I was going to use it in there, but I will go kill that mini boss though. We'll see what that is. We'll see what that is at least. 
Hey, I've got another key. That's good. Give me that spirit. Yeah, I'll save that for when my health gets a bit more dire, which hopefully it won't, but you never know. It's a key beggar. I just spent keys to get in here. That's not valuable to me. I don't have a golden key to mess around with. Right. It's bottom time. Hello, good sir. <laughs> Goodbye, good sir. We just absolutely demolished bosses. It's wild. More HP to trade away. Gimme, gimme. Okay. Things are going good. I think we are well on our way to doing Mother. By the way, I am doing Mother in in a, in pot form only. So I will get teleported out if I get hit, which means I have to do it no hit. Which I think is more fun. I'll crack this open. Wasn't very worthwhile, unfortunately. There's a token there. I'll leave that on the floor for now. Probably want to use my Spirit of Druidity uh, pretty soon here. I just need to find the right room for it. I need a, a bunch of enemies. Technically, I could wait in this room and get a bunch of enemies, but I'm not going to. Just need one L-shaped room. Oh, you fool. Keep it moving. Got my stats back, lovely. I don't know where their stats are coming from, I'll be honest, but happy to have them nonetheless. More money back, lovely. Still, uh, our curses for some reason are just like constant. Cultist baby, never seen that one before. Uh, every seven to eight rooms spawn a burn orbital and a friendly burnie, and then I can't read the rest. Ooh, I like these enemies, they're new. Not the middle one, the, 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 the like cultist guys either side. Thank you. <laughs> Don't exactly need it, but thank you. At least clearing rooms themselves is uh, not a hard task for us right now. <laughs> Ooh, Eternal Heart's rather nice here. Still haven't found our perfect room for Spirit of Druidity. Might not end up being this floor. I do need to give myself the knife piece. I never do the knife piece cheers because it's a pain in the ass. Um, I'll do it after this, actually. Let's see what's in here first. Do, do we, do we want to do this? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll see what we get. Sadly, nothing amazing, but we can show off our prowess. And we can see if we can do it without getting teleported out. That's our challenge here. You watch me get teleported out almost immediately. I will try my best, but I can make no promises. If I can make it out of here without getting hit and Lost Soul doesn't die, I will be very impressed with myself. We might also gain quite a lot of HP out of this, actually. There's a potential chance for gaining a lot of HP. Because uh, all of the red hearts that drop will also be soul hearts. Never never really remember how you work, Gish. You, you, you're weird now. I, I, I'm not a massive fan of the Gish rework. It's very strange and unpredictable. The rest of the reworks I goddamn love. But that, that's the only one that I'm like, mm, what's going on here? The fact that we're able to hit away enemies that charge at us too is very, very nice here. Just the speed at which we kill bosses is uh, pretty absurd. All of them are dead. Certain bosses we've got to really focus down. I'm not a big fan of things that are spawning spiders. That seems sketchy. To say the least. Ah, oh, don't don't you do your dropping jump. Don't brimstone me. Okay, good. Okay. 
We're doing really well so far. We're doing really well so far. I'm just scared I'm going to get bullshitted. There's a lot of enemies that can bullshit you, so... Dude, oh, I've got so many of these Bernie dudes. This, this this cultist item seems amazing. They they do a lot of damage, and we're getting a lot of them. Uh, honestly, Chubb's another one that I really don't understand the rework for very well. Oh, these guys are spewing fire. Dude, I did it. I did it. I got Bumba. Nice. Um, and then we go give knife piece two. I don't know what that massive fart there was, but I'll accept it. Okay, down we go. We kept Lost Soul alive this floor, which I'm very surprised at. What's he going to give us? An item, perhaps? Oh, that's not too bad. Still, for some reason, our curses are stacked up. Still not really sure why we're getting so many curses at once, but it's not holding us back, so I'm not going to complain too much. It never going to hold me down. How come their fires are, um, are purple now? Is that just a thing on this floor specifically? I'm hoping I'm going the right way here. Unfortunately, we, we at least do have a map, but we don't have mapping. I'm glad we have our map at least. I kind of wasn't expecting to. Right, let's try and keep Lost Soul alive once more. I'm not sure how likely that is, but... I think I can do it. I think I can do it. It's a weird room. Damn it! Wrong way. Honestly, is it, is it not just quicker to bomb out of this room? This enemy's a pain. That enemy's one of those ones that kind of just doesn't die when you hit it. Okay. Care for the poison? Okay. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if that would get me or not, but luckily it didn't. I'm very scared of these falling uh, falling shots. I'm pretty sure they can do damage to enemies, but I'm almost certain they can do damage to me as well. So, I mean, very cautious of them. But considering the visual clarity that we have right now, there's a decent chance that I get hit by one of them eventually. <laughs> these fire spewers are uh, doing an amazing job right now. No, lost soul. My little friend. How dare you so brazenly kill him. Ah, oh, no. The teleport. It's so far. We were doing so well. Luckily, we have half decent speed, so we can get there. We have, like, kind of ideal speed, I think. Anything above, like, 1.7 is, like, feels a bit too fast. For, like, combat, at least. For room navigation, it is nice to have more. Okay. There's creep there, so don't, uh, don't walk on it. That's a sketchy room. Ooh, Rock Guts an interesting one here. He could pretty easily hit me on the next phase here, because uh, I have to get really close. Actually, I don't have to get as close as I thought. My range is still insane. Yeah, even here. I thought I was going to have to get like up, up, up top there, but I do not. Is that more range, baby? Is that more range? Cool. We are gone. Still don't know what our health is looking like, unfortunately. Spirit of okay, I managed to get a good amount of these hearts. I'm probably full on health, or at least near to it now. Yeah, I'm full on health. I had a feeling that would get me there. Okay, that eye's the worst. 
I think this is the right way. This feels like the right way. It's always nice when you pick the right way first time around. I can't guarantee it, but it feels right. No! <laughs> That's so annoying. I think Lost Soul died amidst that uh, tragedy as well. But luckily, we've got health lying around. God damn. God damn the boss is going to be rough. <laughs> Having to no-hit the boss does not seem uh, like an ideal option for us. We've got plenty of bombs to work with on the boss as well. That's good. Right. Let's give this bastard a go. We should be able to do good damage, but yeah, like one hit and we're out of here. No! I didn't even see what hit me there. I think it like scaled around and hit me in the back. It's also quite a long travel to get back here. I think I ought to be using bombs more. Considering I can whack them into him pretty easily, or her, should I say. And they're glitter bombs as well. I gotta remember that. I could be getting some good stuff out of the glitter bombs. Dude, why are they, like, curling around so much? Dude, those, those attacks don't normally go so crazy. Oh, you... That fir this first phase is going to be a nightmare. That that attack is so, like, it proper corners you. Really hard to avoid sometimes. Got to remember as well, I'm using bombs. If I get teleported out, they do permanently get depleted. I don't get them back. This attack, I just never know the best way to dodge. And he does it again. I say, I keep saying he. It's obviously not he, <laughs> but... Okay, this I'm going to have to just be patient on and get back to attacking him once I'm out of the weeds. Now this is, uh, that was something. This is bad because my, uh, my attack does knock back, like, knocks me back, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This could be rough. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this. No hitting mother is, uh, is, is a high order even when you, uh, even when you're not melee. So doing it melee is pretty rough. Having to go back through the first phase is probably the most annoying part about this. Can you stop doing the knife attack, please? The knife attack is, is no good for me. This attack's weird too. Like, sometimes it's super easy, sometimes it's not. Like, what's it doing? What the hell is it doing then? Start off with this one again. Okay. We're doing a good job so far, but it just depends on the attacks we get given. Don't even know what happened to that bomb there. Dude, oh, you... Ah, I, like, this sounds like an excuse, but whenever she does that attack, it lags really badly. And it's really, really hard to actually dodge where you want to dodge. Man, this is rough. This is rough stuff. First phase, I think we've got down, for the most part. 
This attack could still get me randomly, but I think for the most part, we're okay with that one. So shame we didn't get Bumbo like ranked up. Dude, dude, you little hussy. Can you stop curling that crap around? Just go past me and fucking stay behind me. That key's annoying me. Give me that key. Oh man, I'm getting frustrated here. I'm getting frustrated. I realize I could easily kill her by just not going in pot form, but that's not that's not how we roll, baby. That's not how we roll. I used so many bombs that last time as well. Okay, good. That, like, coil thing that's running around, by the way, is doing some good work for us. There you go. First phase is not too bad at all. Second phase, there's like two attacks that I'm always going to have trouble with. I wanted to do the dash attack, which is just not doing the dash attack at all. The dash attack is like the, the best one for us. That attack's also pretty decent. This is the worst attack. It doesn't help that I literally can't see when she's doing that. Come on! Yes! We did it! Oh, that felt good. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this getting over it with Bennett 40 Isaac episode. This was weird, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.